nobody likes testing. Let's just get that out of the way first. Uh, nobody likes testing. If somebody likes testing, then I don't know what's wrong with them. It's something that most developers hate, but it's also something that most developers have to do no matter what, uh, if they want to sustain their development effort on any code base. So if you have to do something, you might as well learn how to do this. So with that said, welcome to this course, JUnit 5 Basics. Uh, we're gonna be covering JUnit, which is the de facto standard for testing uh, on Java. And uh, you have a couple of other options, uh, but JUnit is kind of most widely used. Uh, JUnit 5 is the newest iteration of the framework, and uh, we're going to be covering what uh, what is different in JUnit and uh, how to use it. It's going to be uh, we're going to be showing I'm going to be showing you some code. Uh, we will try some of the new features, and you will learn how to use JUnit. Um, the agenda for this course is first of all understanding the JUnit architecture. Uh, the architecture has changed with JUnit 5. We'll understand what are the different moving pieces. Uh, we're going to be setting up a JUnit project. Uh, we will learn how to set up a bare bones Maven project, write a simple class. The class isn't the focus of our attention, the test is. So we're going to be writing a simple class which provides something for us to test. And then we will use JUnit to write some test cases. Uh, next, we will uh, write those tests and we'll learn the JUnit API. The way to work with JUnit is using the API. If you have, if you guys have worked with JUnit, uh, you know that there are certain things that you can do, certain code that you can write to call the JUnit API. It's like assert or writing test annotations and stuff like that. So JUnit 5 has some new changes to the API. So we're going to be learning all of those. So we have stuff like uh, assertions, learning what the lifecycle of JUnit is, execution control, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we'll also learn how to handle some scenarios. Uh, it's not just enough to learn what the JUnit API provides. It's also important to understand like what you can do with it or what are the common scenarios that you're gonna run into and then how to use the API to address those scenarios. So for example, uh, how do you handle exceptions? How do you do conditional execution? You might wanna have certain tests run at certain times and certain other tests run. So you have to figure that out. And repeated tests, you wanna run certain tests repeatedly uh, you got to do that, and JUnit provides the APIs for it, so we'll learn how to do all those things as well.